Okay, guys, so now we're out here we got Bear, we got Travis. We're out here at a stinking public pond, and we're going to do some trout fishing. Now, I have never been trout fishing in my life, and Bear, Bear's my guy today. Tell him what we're doing, Bear. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to pitch right here in this little hole and try to catch some trout. Guys. What are we fishing with? I'm fishing with corn. I am too, because he's my guide, so let's do it. What kind of corn is it? Anything special or just like straight up? corn just straight up corn how many pieces you put on about two or three sometimes i get picky i put on usually two or three pieces and if they're in here it shouldn't take long for them to buy and then just toss it in a little bit off the bank just yeah, wait for one to take it pretty good ways yeah just midway oh all right about like that maybe yeah that'll work all right he'll try it now there are some snakes so you gotta get them in pretty quick all right we can do it about how deep do they bite right as soon as it hits the water or? they get pretty close to the bottom really yeah. Sometimes you can catch them on bobber when the water's calm. Yeah. But today, you don't really know what they're doing. Where it's raining. That's fish around the sea, ain't it? Mm -hmm. See what the fish are wanting. And right now, we're just using corn. But Bear also said here at school, he said that rooster tails, uh, you got one? Yeah, I got one. You sure do, buddy, don't you? Ultralight coming in. There you go. Ultralight coming in strong, baby. Already got him a trout, son. That quick. Ooh, Gio. Yes, He'll be all right. Oh, there he goes. He touched He's back. fine. He's fine. You touched him. He counts. Yeah, he counts. Tell us what you felt right there. How'd you know you got him? He just started taking off with it? Just watch your line go out. Watch your line. If it takes off, set the hook on him. Yep. And they have pretty tough mouths. So like, set it pretty hard? Not real, real hard. But set don't it. don't swarp on it, yeah, but set it pretty good. And they are a fragile fish, but that might float back up here about five to <laughs> ten minutes. But, uh, it should be all right. That's pretty crazy. Pretty fragile fish. Yeah. And, and, you know, like, I don't know about trout, but they do stock this pond for trout. I don't know if yeah. they breed in here or not. Do you know? that if they just breed right here in little ponds like this i say they might but during the summer where they're a colder water fish yeah they die off yeah and the ducks eat them ducks eat fish i would say so but yeah these fish are stocked that's why we're probably not going to catch any monsters like 10 pounds but yeah. that's because you know they're just stocked and you know they're only a half a year year old at max probably the one i caught out of here was like 14 inches yeah 14 inches and yeah it is raining but that don't matter we're still gonna catch some fish Ducky weather right yeah but the cool thing about this is that right now it's raining but like here in a few hours it's supposed to turn into like a straight up blizzard ain't it yep, it's up oh, there you go travis inches. is hooked up there got him goes. now what's that and is that a rainbow let's see what you got there big rainbow trout caught him on a little bit of corn ain't no, it no that's a brown is it a brown? No, that's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Yeah, he got a little rainbow on him, don't he? See, see, see his rainbow? Yeah, these are rainbow. Right, right in there, those the purple looking colors. It yeah. Be a rainbow. Uh, usually rainbows are lighter than that. And you know, I'm pretty sure you gotta have like a permit to keep these, don't you? Yeah. yeah. 10 bucks trout stamp. We're just gonna throw them in here, you know, just let them go live their life. There you go, little buddy. Would you say they're out there in the channel in the deepest know, part? Oh, believe I got one. I got him. There you go. Thank First you one hung up. Man, who caught him? Me or Travis? Caught, I don't know. We caught the same one. Let's see. I believe I got him a little bit. Let's see. Oh, man. Yeah, you got him. I thought we both hooked him. I just hooked my hand around him. Got him right there in the bottom of the lip. There you go. See, buddy. He was real slimy. I mean, I couldn't even hold on to him. Yeah, they are very, very slimy. Very, very slimy fish. It is for me. It is a new species. That's pretty cool. I just looked up and see my line going out. I said, shoot, bear. Swarping on that rainbow or is that a brown i believe he's a brown no i, I honestly i don't yeah, know up oh, he peeing on you ain't he? a little bit is that That's a rainbow a little, uh, i think it might yeah it's a rainbow. a rainbow pretty sure don't mark our words on the species yeah, we're not professional. Trout. We're not professional. If you want to know what species they are, go to Google. Google knows. Bear's got the first brown. You sure? Yeah. Still got the rainbow on it, don't it? It might be a hybrid. I don't know if they can be hybrids. <laughs> I don't know either. Shows how much we know, ain't it? Yeah. We can catch them. That's all that matters. All you got to do is catch them. Hey, it may be raining, but we're catching fish, and that's all that matters. I tell you, I ain't caught a fish in three months, and that's a that's a, that's a a fact. And Bear's done got nothing. Would you believe it? Bear, no, that's, hey, that's why he's my god. That's why he's my guy. He knows what he's doing out here. Bear knows what he's doing. They got little teeth on their tongues and stuff. Really? Yeah. Do they hurt? Not really. It's like uh, sandpaper. Feel. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're a little predator. Yeah, they are. That's why you can catch them on a rooster tail. Yep. Um, you can catch bigger ones. They usually use flies for that. Yeah, they do, don't they? I'd say a fly would be good to use down here, just probably not today because all the top water. Yeah. Couldn't see it. Last time it iced last year. Yeah. We would come here and we'd bust holes in the ice rocks and we'd take those jigging spoons mm -hmm. and we'd watch them chase them up out up under the ice. We're just down here on the side of the road catching trout. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, you can just pull right up. Don't even have to walk far. Don't even have to take your stuff far. Using corn. We might switch up here in a minute and use... Artificial. Corn. Try it out a little bit. I ain't never caught trout on artificial. For real? For real. 
I don't know what you're doing, Bear, but you're doing it better than I am. There's one. Well, I uh, got a bite, but I didn't connect. You can throw right now, they ain't really picky. Like some days you come down here, they'll want one piece of corn. It's just different presentations, really. It's different for sure. I mean, the seven foot rod gives me a lot more line pickup whenever I go to sore pond fish, so that's pretty much. There he is. There you go. Not a bad one, I guess. They're all about the same, though, that's honestly. One of the bigger ones. Yeah, there we go, man. And bear doubled up right here. This guy's energetic. They all are, man. Really, really. For real, though. They really are. I'll tell you what. What? We need an Instagram picture. Take my bear picture. We doubled up. If I can hold on to him, that'll be a big part of it. Turn I'll slip him right here. Slip him? Can you yeah. slip a trout? I don't know. I might not be able to. Double release right here. Oh. Oh, beautiful rainbows. And by the way, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Kendall Gray One. Tell you what, Bear, maybe about time to try some artificial. Right here, we're gonna hook Bear up with a little artificial. He's caught about eight with corn. He's ready to, you know, step up his game, try to do something a little bit different. I don't know what these are. Some of you guys actually sent them in fan mail, but they're really, really, really small, like little grubs. Sort of look like a little crawdad or something, but we're gonna thread it on here and we're gonna see if Bear can get one on artificial. If he can, he is officially the trout master of Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Big trout. But I've actually got a phone call, so I'm just gonna let him swim a little bit and answer the phone. Well, never mind. But anyways, I thought it was mom, but guess what? It's not. Okay, so we're good to go. Good old trout right here. And you know, some people, a lot of y'all will say that uh, we need to wet our hands before we grab these. And that may be true, but like it's raining and our hands are already wet. So we're pretty good with these. Hey, you see you, bub. And there he goes. He's perfectly fine. Brian's got his first fish. Let's go see what he's got. Dude, that's the biggest one so far, bro. What's he on a rooster tail? Yeah. yeah. And that's right there. It's a perfect imitation. A yellow rooster tail imitates both the bait fish and the corn that we're using. So good job right there. That's a nice one. How's you fishing it? I was just running it right across the bottom. Just fish. slow rolling it right on the bottom. He just took it. He just took it. Hey, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. You know what? I think I'm going to take it home. I ain't putting it back in. <laughs> He's going to keep him. He's got to be at least 15 inches, so make sure he, he you know, make oh, sure he's... he's more than 15. He's more than 15. He'll be good. Six. I got him in the upper deck with right there. Bear, you're a machine. But that again, that's why he's our guide. He is our guide. He's the guy who catches all the fish and totally none for his <laughs> clients. Oh, get one. Oh, Brian's hooked up. Broke the ice. There he is. Brian over there with his first one. Oh, that's a pretty good one, too. That's a real good one. Double up, Ken. Oh, I'm... I'm I'm trying to double. I don't want to be that guy who just cast his in right where you hook the fish, but I'm going to, Bear. I'm going to be that guy today. I'm the guy. You're the guy. I'm, I'm showing you guys where to catch him at. He caught like three while you was at the truck. Oh, there he is. Got, got him. him. Yes. Finally. Finally, boys. We got him. He ain't even a monster. Pretty good one right here, I guess. I just, that is a good one. Yeah. He's a pretty good one. And he's pretty. And me and Bear doubled up again. That's pretty cool. You know, there he goes. See you, bub. There he goes. He's fine. But he's yeah, gone. He's gone. He, he went to Corbin. Boys, hurry, shoot him. Boom. Wow, wow. You think we could have killed him? Yeah. Boys, something's about to happen. It's getting dark. That means that the fish are about to get sleep. turned. Oh. Buddy, I'm telling you, it's getting dark out here. Something's about to happen, and it ain't going to be good. It could be good. It could be bad. We'll see. That's the black clouds and the wind bringing in the snow. We can see the snow. The snow is right there with that black cloud. Let's get one, boys. It is snowing out here. You is might. Can I see it? It is. It's snowing. It is snowing. And the temperature matches, boys. I will say it is cold. Yeah, it's cold. It is a cold one. Right now, where the water's starting to get disturbed, it's perfect to fish on bottom. Oh, yep. That is the snow. That is the snow. Uh, oh, believe I got one. Woo! Woo! Yeah! in the snow but you can't say you've done that no nope, first oh this ain't a big one this is just probably the smallest one of the day but boys it's snowing and that is something i have never done before fishing while it's snowing i want y'all to comment below have you ever caught a fish while y'all while it has been snowing that's my question and it can and it don't count to be ice fishing because ice fishing is different open water fishing it's snowing have y'all ever caught a fish pretty rainbow right there There's white caps over here. I think I'm going to call it. I tell you what, boys. I think I'm going to go get my I say I'm going to end it on that. I'm going to end it on a hit. End it on a fish. There we go, boys. We'll see you next time. Don't worry, guys. Trout fishing? 
it is not over. We're going to come back next week. Ain't that right, Bear? Why, yeah. We're going to be back next week, boys. That's right. We'll hit it up again, try to get us some more trout. Next week here, we're going to hit it hard. See you, guys. See you later, Gray Gang. If you're not part of the Gray Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right, and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.